I'm here at the 2018 General Insurance Seminar and I was here to launch the Australian Actuaries Climate Index. So the index works by providing a measure, it tracks the frequency of extreme weather occurring across different locations in Australia. So the, the weather events included two temperature measures, so we're tracking the frequency of the hottest days and the frequency of the coldest days. Uh, there's two rainfall measures, so we're tracking the frequency of too much rain, which therefore leads to floods, and we're also tracking the frequency of too little rain, which leads to droughts. Uh, so two rainfall measures, two temperature measures. Then we have a wind measure, so how often do we get days of extremely high winds, and how often do we get days of extremely high sea levels. The index we, we hope, and, and I think it is ideal for anyone that needs to understand what exposure does my entity, my organisation, have to climate risk. Um, and if you're an organisation that has physical risk exposure, as in if temperatures rise or winds rise, there's the prospect of damage to your assets, then this index is a perfect way for you to understand of how has that risk been changing so far and therefore how is climate risk impacting on my organisation. So we see it being used by those entities that have got that kind of exposure. That's typically insurance companies, it's banks, it's the agricultural sector, they've all got that strong physical risk exposure with a, with a risk of damage to their assets. Um, and it's interesting as well that there's now new climate disclosure requirements, or should I say recommendations that have come about from the G20 initiative, the Task Force on Climate Related Financial Disclosures. And that means those entities are going to be wanting to disclose in their financial statements what is their exposure to climate risk, how is it changing and what metrics are they, are they using to assess how that's changing. And the index is a perfect metric for them to be using as part of that disclosure process. The index is freely available to all on the um, Actuary Institute's website. So if you Google Actuary Institute Climate Index, it'll pop up and you can therefore dive into specific regions and specific metrics and have a look at the, how the risk is changing in your area.